Vega's a fun character. He's just so fragile and just has problems with combos and doing damage. Man, I felt I felt bad watching Doom Snake play anybody. Cause he would have to hit somebody like three times, even though he had the life lead. And the other the other character had V trigger activated, so it's like, uh oh. He gets he gets hit one time, he's dead. Or he's gotta like, you know, guess a million times. Or one time. And then he's over here like <laughs> Desperately, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, please don't, oh, please don't whip. You know. And it's like, oh, that didn't kill him. Oh boy, he's gotta go for a mix-up. Uh, hopefully this works. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, that guy's got a hard life. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was gonna get the flip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that voice acting. Wow! Oh, we're back to one? I'm just starting to have fun. <laughs> wow! Okay. Now, do I want that part to juggle? Do I want this to hit? Or the second part? We'll see. Yeah, I think it wants me to hit him with the first... The, when I go to the wall. I could be wrong. Oh, no. I gotta go the other direction. and then Okay, I, I, I think I get it. This way. What in the... Show me the money. Thanks, Mr. QJ. The following. Oh, what is that? Okay. Okay. Oh, this is gonna mess up the input, isn't it? A, 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 A. I needed to hit just right with the wall dive. Gal, I have not gone over Gal yet. When I do an uppercut from that direction, and they, they go like on different sides, so I have to do it at just the right time. I'll do an uppercut. Maybe I have to do it the other way, and then it turns around? Maybe walk back? Yeah, I think that's one way to help solve that problem. That actually helps out a lot. I'm asking the best lab technician. Did you watch the demos? You know, I actually want to a little bit, but I feel like it puts too much time into the video that I'm making right now. I mean, let's see, uh, volume five demo. Just, uh, we're here, so let, let me just take a look. <laughs> Nobody ever looks at these, do they? I'm glad that they're in the game, but oftentimes they're not really enough to really teach you how to play the fighting game part of it, you know? Sky High Claw. Oh, that's. He has a whole new move? You'll be invincible to projectiles. Dang, he's got a whole new move. But I bet it whips if they're crouching. That's good. Yep, punishable. Matador flip. Yep. This is actually good information. Hey, I think you overhated for the four months. Welcome back to the laboratory. Invincible to striking skills and projectiles. From the moment it is activated until the second half of the reverse rotation. Huh. So is it invincible on frame one? That's what we gotta. That's what, is that it? Is that the whole demonstration? Okay. That's it. <laughs> okay, so he's got a whole new move. We gotta see what the EX version looks like. That could be super good. We gotta look at if if, if they can um if it can cross up, right? That's gonna be the obvious go to. See if it works or not. Yeah, it gave me some information. It wasn't terrible. Man, I wanna try some gill now. Let me get that tracksuit. 
I'll show you the epitome of beauty. Be boy you. Go beyond the battle. A bookie on the battle. That actually didn't take that much time to look at the demo video, so maybe we can include that. <laughs> wow! It sounds like a kid's commercial, right? 36 flavors! Wow! Uh, it's gonna be unsafe on block, right? For sure. Minus three! So can I space it well? And be all right. Mine is six. Mm. Minus five? What in the? Oh, it's minus six. It's un it's, it's, un it's unsafe. It's just unsafe. It says minus three and then minus six. It changes. <laughs> it tricks you. The yeah, best it can be minus three. It looks like the best it can be is like minus. Maybe you can do it meaty. Minus four. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay, let's see what happens with fireballs. I don't think this is gonna work out, but we'll see. <laughs> wow! <Adoken>. Nope. <laughs> I mean, that's what this move is for, right? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <coughs> I don't think you can do it on reaction. Yo, yeah, what up, Papa Greg? Hold on, hold on, I gotta. I got a cough. Okay. Papa Greg with the tier two. Thank you very much, sir. Hope you're doing all right. What? It's not invincible immediately. <laughs> this is not looking too good. You have to guess. <clears throat> Why did they wait till now to give him this move? Oh my god, it's not like immediately projectile invincible. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, something. It's totally a guess if you're using it like this. Maybe, maybe he can do it in some combos. It's also a charge move. It's not like any of his other moves. Vega used to be like a charge character, but now they changed. Uh, what? It's rolling crystal flash, wall dive. These are no longer charge moves, but now he has one. It's so weird. This is so not looking good. What? Vega can't catch a break. It is kind of fast, but it's never gonna work. What about... No, no, don't do that. It's too slow. <clears throat> nope, I do not suggest it. I mean, it's an option against fireballs, but so is this. But that, you have to anticipate, I think, for the most part as well. These moves aren't very good. Maybe if you're close to the wall? Let's try it. If I okay, this could be like maybe a silver lining. It could save it a little bit. Oh. Be faster. Okay, okay. Now we might be getting somewhere, kinda. The closer you the, the closer you are to the wall, the less you have to travel to it and then go back, you know? So the travel distance is less. So you could use it like this. But then you know what's gonna happen is you're gonna corner yourself if you overdo it. And this isn't that great to begin with. It's not like a free answer to it. Maybe EX? Yeah, EX is probably the best bet. Plus five. The knockdown is not very good either. It's plus five. And I think this does whip on crowd, right? At least the EX contacts. Probably massively unsafe. And this... Yeah, unsafe. Can I at least beat trigger? Plus two. What? <laughs> Why do 
whiff! <laughs> you see a whiff? So if you have V trigger, then maybe this is okay. If you think you're gonna throw a fireball and then you beat it, and then if it if if you get something good off of this too. That's decent. But it's so much like so much of an unresourceful maneuver. Right? It would help if this was like plus two and close, so maybe in the corner? It just feels so specific to make this good. Plus two, but it just looks so goofy. So then, okay, I mean, this is kind of cool. Like, if you have, if you don't have claw, and you do this, uh, other way, like this. <laughs> Come on, man! There we go. A little bit later. God dang it. That's five frames, right? That's five frame startup for... <laughs> Throw me a bone, man. Let me get that data. Rank seven. Please tell me his command grab is five. No, this music is just the playlist I use so I don't get demonetized on YouTube. <sighs> What's this move called? <laughs> this is V system. It should be down here. Crimson Terror. Bloody Garden. Switch Claw. Where is it? Izuna Drop. Four? This wasn't always four, was it? Did they make it faster? Where you at, Vega? Where you at? Wombo combo. Where is the old Vegeta? Flying Barcelona. This wasn't four or four, was it? It seems like I thought. I'm pretty sure it was five. But it doesn't say that in the notes. This is EX Flying Barcelona. Where is? sure that was five at least grand azuna drop am i blind i'm looking at vega it's not in the notes as far as i can see azuna drop no it's not azuna drop man i need to work on my reading skills where is it Aurora Spin Edge, Crimson Terror, Zuna Drop. That's not it. Flying Barcelona. What in the. Which one is this command grab? It's six frames? Where is it though? I, I That's what I think it is. I don't I don't see them putting a. Give, just giving him a four frame command grab. Nobody. That's faster than a normal throw, right? Nobody has anything as faster than five. Where is the move? Special moves. Is this a hidden special move? Like what? It's the grab after Barcelona. Izuna drop. But this is a this is an uppercut motion. That's not it. What is this? No, this is the no, this is the air Izuna drop. This is if you hit them while they're on the ground or if you hit them while they're in the air. Is his command grab a special move? <laughs> like a special a hidden secret? I don't see it. Oh, claw off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully that'll help people in the YouTube too, because they'll probably have trouble not seeing it. There we go. Six frames. Okay. So that does not actually frame trap three frame characters. If it was five, then it'd be okay. Like in the corner to do this. It's still an option. You can still do it because you have the threat of a frame trap. Golly. This is still reasonable to do. And this is this I this should have frame advantage after a dash, if I remember. It's like plus two or something like that. What? Yeah, plus two, plus two. So you can do it into each other. 
Actually, no, you can't, because it's plus six. I mean, it's six startup and plus two. If it was plus three, you could frame trap like this. But normal throw is a frame trap here, which is not in range. <laughs> Man, Vega sucks. <laughs> so stand by kick, crossing life punch you can use from here. And then you gotta use the threat of it. I mean, it's not unlike Laura either. When Laura does command grab, dash and command grab, she's negative, but she can get away with it because she gets the threat of uh, heavy kick. So there's some things you can do here. You know? You have to delay this, which makes me think that there's... Like, I wonder if you can just jump. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see what happens if you just hold up. Or, like, hold up forward. That might, e that might, e that, that might even punish the... Barcelona stuff. Oh, they're stuck there. That's cool. They can't move. They gotta hold that pressure. That's not bad. They actually can't move. That's good. But it's like very specific for the corner. I wonder how fast this is. Ooh, do you get more? It looks like you get more stuff. Yeah. Nah, not really. You can hit confirm that. But I think this is gonna be unsafe. Let me see. Ooh, is this gonna combo? <laughs> you can't get over there. <laughs> this character is funny. Okay, okay. I think this could have some potential, but it does it does feel like it's, it's in that gimmicky territory. I don't want him to jump anymore. So like this, I can't get over there. That's so strange. They don't want you to have cool things. I thought this would be interesting if you could go to the other side and you'd have an unsafe well, you can still make it safe with the V-Trigger. You'd have an unsafe wall die, whatever you want to call this. But it just doesn't let you do it. I mean, you could probably do, like, uh, let me see. Maybe... Plus one. Yeah, this is plus one. And this should also be plus, plus two. Has that always been plus two? I think it's always been plus one. Hmm. It got buffed? Okay, yeah, we need to get to the changeless. I've been experimenting too much. Can I? Hold on. Speaking of. Oh, you can activate off of that. Okay. Let's see if it works in frame traps. If it's any, if there's any, you know, merit to it. I think this is a three-frame window. I don't remember. Oh no, it's not. It does go through it though. Let's try. Maybe it was crouching medium punch to stand medium punch. I forget the frame trap for Ryu. I think that's it. Yeah, I can't three-frame in between us. So this is invincible, at least on the third frame. Let's try stay in line punch. Ed is so much fun. Steal the shank. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the laboratory. Let's try this into the reframe, actually. Nah, that's going to be too far. Let's go ahead and give it the old college try. I think it's invincible on the first frame. Let's try... Dang it. I don't want crush counter. Uh, so this and then this, I think. Just try it. Okay, so that does frame trap. Yeah, but I just feel like it's just going to be similar to a backdash, like an invincible backdash. There's going to be option selects for it, you know? Only if this actually punished, but it's so slow. Maybe it's if they punish your backdash, you hit them out of that. 
Mm, it's gonna take some time to digest. You probably slide after this, right? It's gonna be weird to use. And also the recovery on this sort of backdash. You can't cancel the kick after a certain point. So you're just vulnerable. So you have to commit to it. Unless you see the whiff late, then maybe you can do it. It reminds me of his V-reversal, where in some situations, his V-reversal is super powerful, but it's so specific and you have to really research it. Like you V-reversal and then you punish something that, that's whiffing. This could be just like the same idea. So it's gonna take like some special, specialized Vega players that really know each situation to use this. And the reward isn't exactly incredible either. You could probably get critical art off of it though. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Let's look at the notes. Okay. Crouching state expanded the upward hurt box. That means he's probably a little bit taller when he's crouching. Standing light punch in claw. Advantage increase from 5 to 7. That's interesting. Claws. Oh, this is claw standing light punch. That is... That could be really good. This doesn't whiff on crouch, does it? I think it does. Right? Yeah. So now this is plus 7. Pour one out. Pour one out. Get me over there! This Zangief? We'll get to it. I think he lost. What for? Oh, you might be able to combo. Ooh, I'm not sure if you could do this before. Maybe. This forces them to stand up, so that might be good. Might be a good buff. Before, I think you had to EX. I think you had to do this before, right? Plus three. Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if these are new things, though. Plus four. And then from there, plus seven. That's eight. Oh, so maybe you can do this and then that together. What? This is five frames? What? Rip. Nah. You could always do that, but maybe you can do this, 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 and then this. Yeah, there's some, there's some buffs there. I'm pretty sure this is new. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this is good stuff. I think Vega's crouching heavy punch into the, the claw switch in both stances is underutilized by a lot of people. Plus one, and now you get plus two? But what difference does that make, plus two? At least now you can do crouching jab instead of stand like it. You used to have to do like stand like it. Yeah, that's good. Does anything change with counter hit stand like it? Plus six? Not really. Pretty much the same. Oh, so if they block here. So I think what this is going to turn into is this and then that. But if they're crouching, we'll, uh, that might be a different problem. That's a good buff. Stand light punch into this. Stand medium kick. I think they're going to be too far. Yeah. Okay. After Aurora, V Trigger 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a good buff, Stand Light Punch. It's just that Stand Light Punch is uh, five frames and it whiffs on Crouch. You can do it in some meaty scenarios, and it's okay. Uh, it's only plus one. 
Yeah, so far these are good changes for Vega. His his new moves are kind of goofy, the V skill and the and the forward move, but they, they it's better than nothing. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Man, I cannot shake this cough. I've been I've had a cough for like over a week on top of being sick for like a week and a half. Ease the ability for follow up attacks. What does that mean? I'm crouching heavy kick. Minus six. Maybe they made it like Zeku where they stand? Nah, I don't think so. I don't know what they're saying. Nope. Nope. Or maybe you can, uh, V Trigger 2 activate? Uh, no way. Expanded the forward hitbox. Buster Claw. Isn't this forward heavy punch? Why does this say in Bison up here in the tab? <laughs> it's not in Bison. It's not even Vega. It's Balrog. <laughs> That's pretty funny. On the CFM website, y'all see it up here? The tab says in Bison for Vega, who's actually Balrog. How they messed it? What? Frame data in Bison. You don't really get Sagas new V skill. It, it's good. I think it's better than v, v skill one. Uh, in most cases. Uh, <clears throat> what were we just doing? Buster Claw. So claw on. Yep, Ford Heavy Punch Buster Claw. So this has more range now. It's still really hard to work. It's unsafe on block. It has a big whiff, but because it has more range, it's going to be harder to make it whiff. I don't know how much range is really significant here, but this move is also another under underutilized move with Vega, but because the risk is so high if they jump at you, right? And it is something that you can punish on block, so you have to be really careful with it. But again, increasing the distance of it is really helpful. Because they would have to stand further away to whiff punish it. And depending on how the... Man, you extend a lot with this move. Depending on how that interacts, you know, you might you might get one thing or another. And uh, yeah, this does touch counter. You get to slide after it if you're close enough. And I think activation. Whatever you get there. Maybe you can activate with this one and then... Yeah. <laughs> New moves. Okay, Buster Claw, it's a good buff. You have to really see it in action to get a good assessment of it. This is going to be the overhead throw invincibility instead of air invincibility. They they wrote this differently than, uh, what was it? Nash, Jury, and Nikali. This is different verbiage. Yeah, the V-Skills got buffed. They're like, easier to, to put out there. For Sagat. Uh, sky high claw. Yeah, we, we went over this. Reduce the recovery by one frame when performed by crouching heavy points. This is why you have plus two instead of plus one. Restricted the combo count. Probably a nerf, but probably not a big deal either. Increased blowback time when it hits an airborne opponent. Eh, you don't have to worry about that too much. Expanded the hitbox when using a combo. Can hit opponents behind them. So now you can do cross up. Cross up dive better? I thought you could do that before. You can definitely do cross up critical art. But this means that you can do that easier as a cross up. He can hit opponents that are behind him. Let's see if I can get something decent here. You got a lot of time. Almost. Um. I don't know the frame kills at all. I'm just trying to experiment and see if I can find something on accident. That's close. I'm trying to see if I can get a uh, cross up wall dive. Oh, it's going to be hard to do it. That's close. Almost. 
I just want to see it say cross up. Hmm, it's gonna be hard to do it. But it's gonna be a setup if it's possible to do this. Hmm, how can I get this to do this correctly? Wow, not even that. You can cross up critical art. Yeah. Slide FBA. Mm. That'd be sick if you could do a side switch and then cross up. That's not going to be it, though. Oh, that's really close. Wow, it's almost around here. I'll probably give this a few more shots and then let it go because I don't want to spend too much time on this. Mm. So wherever it is, it's going to be very hard to find and really specific. Yo, what up, Ice? Good to hear from you. Congratulations. Uh, yeah, it's maybe this is for the air. Maybe it's more for the air. Like, it's more likely to air-to-air -to -air with the backside of it. Expanded upper hitbox with a final hit. These are going to be, like, maybe ex combo extension tools that might add up somewhere. Upwards below back. Hmm. Only Bernie beats Akuma. Hey, thanks for following, Rev, Rev Jr. and Bernie. Mm. Aurora Spin Edge and Crimson Terror. I don't know what these are. Does that mean like on block you can do this? With the V trigger one? I need them to block. I feel like he could do that before. Mm -mm. Which one is... Aurora Spin Engine, Crimson and Terror. Do y'all know? Slash Special and Roll Special? This one? You couldn't do that before? Hmm. So I guess you can do it on block now, is that what it's saying? Just CC Bison after he teleports? I'm thinking you can just neutral jump, right? We'll see how you use it. I'm not really sure about Bison's V-Skill 2 either. It's just one of those cases where I feel like the V-Skill 1 doesn't offer utility in a matchup, so maybe V-Skill 2 can be better. In some matches. We'll see. Okay, moving on. Sped up the timing at which Vega can move by 3 frames. What is this? Azul? Oh, these are like the different... Space, the different uh, directions for the V-Trigger, right? Advantage from minus 2 to minus 4. I think this is the air one. Let me see. Let me just look it up. Bully Azul. V... V-System. There it is. Yeah, this is the jump. The jump one. That's good, I guess. But it's plus 2, but that's only going to be useful in the corner. So far, one of the better things I, I think is, you know, maybe okay is this... And now you're plus two. That's all right. It's had a lot of weird changes, but I think when you add all all of them together, all of them together, over overall, overall it's a decent buff. Man, I've been talking for like five and a half hours. I gotta slow down. I gotta talk closer to the mic too, so I can save my voice. Hmm. Expanded the forward hitbox, and this is it. This critical art stuff is the same. The decent, the scent attack will not whiff when performed facing an opponent in the corner. That's a good buff, but this is like this is like how it should be in the first place. Like this would whiff here, it would whiff. <laughs> so that's better. I think you had to go to the other wall for it not to whiff. But now it connects. That's cool. Roll special? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Who's the most buffed? Cody? <coughs> Cody. <coughs> Excuse me. Cody looks like an animal now. What up, Lord Jimmy Bones? Is that it? Let me look over these again just to see if I missed anything. Stan Light Punch. This is an interesting buff because it combines with the Crouching Heavy Punch stance change. And now you get plus two on block from no claw to claw. So when you get that claw, you'll have more advantage when this hits, but it's hard to really make this connect. It's really, the plus seven, what this does, I think. The real Hickey King, thank you very much. <clears throat> thank you very much, eight months. Man. <clears throat> Gil, no, we'll save Gil for a little bit. It's gonna take some time to figure that out from fresh, from a fresh start. Okay, so this, this standing light punch, I think this is new. The ability to go from standing light punch into this. I think this whiffs on crouch though. Maybe not. But the stand light punch does. So I guess that's kind of not related. Yeah. So you can do this now. And then you can do... What is it? Whoa! 20 of them! 20 million of them! Why are they in the building? Dang, 100 emote share? Thank you very much, sir. You're ridiculous. Always coming in with the generosity. Congratulations to all the new gift subs. Welcome to the laboratory. I appreciate you, Whitey. You're the best. You're the best! We're the best! <coughs> That's ridiculous. <coughs> Show some love for Whitey. Much appreciated. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All this talking. So yeah, then light punch is better. Maybe you can use this in neutral more now that the 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 reward is a little bit higher. I just feel like it might whiff sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Let's just try that. That's kind of what I was thinking. You can't really throw this out there in neutral. But it's good in combos. I think before you had to use EX, right? You had to do EX. A seven. It also means crouching medium punch is gonna follow up from it, so you can use your heat trigger with that. And medium kick, right? Yeah. This is gonna be tough to use because again, it's gonna whip with their crouching. You don't get anything off of this. Except for activation. Hmm. Dang, you can't even get that. So this is the this is the best new combo, right? And then now you can super off of that, because before you had to spend bar. Well, you can do a special and then super off of it. Yeah! And so, I don't like this move. <laughs> it's so weird. It's good with V-Trigger, in combination with V-Trigger, especially if they're in the corner. This, I think, is great. And then you can combo that. Like in the Trials. And then I guess EX. Flashes. Hmm. So that works there too. That's a good buff, actually. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> yeah, this is good. Vega's definitely underrepresented, but there's definitely a reason for that too. He's better than what, um, you know, people think, but he's... I don't think his buffs are enough, but it's gonna be the same thing, right? He's gonna go up a little bit, hopefully some of the top characters will go down a little bit, and then he's gonna be a little bit closer. He might be alright. <laughs> Where's the god? You know when people ask me for it, then, then I just wanna do, just do something else. <laughs> Cause I, I looked over Sagat earlier, but I'm gonna do it again. Uh, probably next. I'll probably look at Sagat next. Again. I've already done it, but I didn't record it. So yeah, I think that's it for Vega, right? He's better. 